Hello and welcome to our second day at On Earth as in Heaven VBS. I hope you are all well rested for another fun day. I see my friend Sage is back as well. Hi Sage. Hi. Wow, yesterday was great learning about daily bread. What part of the prayer are we learning about today? Today, we're focusing on the line, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. What do you think the will of God is? Hmm. When you say you will do something, it means you're going to do it. So are we asking God to do what God said God would do? Yes, that's right. When we pray for God's will to be done, we're asking God to make the world the way God would want it to be. What do you think that sort of a world would be like? Hmm. Well, yesterday we talked about hunger and sharing. I think God would want for no one to be hungry and for us to share. And for no one to be sick and need medicine and not be able to get it. I think God would want us to have a good education and for everyone to be treated equally and for us to all get along. Hey, those are all the things for the week. Ah, you're right. When we pray, your will be done, on earth as in heaven, we're asking God to bring God's kingdom to earth, to make the world the way God wants it to be. And like we talked about yesterday, we pray because prayer changes us. Prayer is how God shows us how we can be part of God's work. You said yesterday, it was sort of like being a superhero. I don't think I said that. It's not that flashy, but it is more powerful. You don't have to wear a special costume to do God's work. I guess it's like charging a phone to do its work. Plug it in and bang, it's ready to work. Yeah, you might be onto something there. Hey, what if God's cell phone battery died and God couldn't hear our prayers anymore? Does God have a giant charger? You don't need a phone to talk to God. You can talk to God whenever you want, and God will always hear you. Really? Because sometimes when I'm talking to God, it feels like God's phone might be dead. That worries me a little bit. Does God check his messages after charging it up? Don't worry. God's phone doesn't even have a battery. God's phone doesn't have a battery? That's even worse! So what happens to my prayers then? No, no, that's not what I meant. What I meant was God always hears our prayers. It's like a phone you never have to charge. Yes, sometimes it can feel as though God is taking a long time to respond. But that's why it's great to pray with other people, as we do at church. That way, you have someone else who can remind you that God always hears you, and you can remind them that God hears them too. Oh, I see. Like, sometimes when I see someone who's sad, I can tell them that God loves them, and so do I, and they feel better. Yep. And you know what else? There's also, that's also a way that God is using you to do God's will and help that other person not feel so sad. Wow, that is so cool. I can't wait to see the rest of the day is going and see how else God can use me to do his will. Thank you and thanks everybody. All right, so let's review for today. The prayer is your will be done on earth as in heaven. We are learning about good health and how the ELCA World Hunger is working on projects to help people get and stay healthy. The focus prayer that God's will be done reminds us that God's will for the world is that everyone can have a healthy life. Will you do our closing prayer for us? Of course. Dear God, thank you that you are always with us. Thank you for all the people you put in our lives to remind us of your love. Help us today to learn how to be a sign of your love to others. Amen. Amen.